Good morning, good afternoon to you, whenever and wherever you listen to this recording. My name is Mehran Kesh, the head of Kesh Foundation, and as a Iranian nuclear physicist, we have developed technologies for a space which can be applied and has been applied in China in past few years to see how we can improve the life of people in China, be it the agriculture, be it for health, be it for production of material. In the past two years, when I stayed in China, we tried to show that this new technology can help with viruses. As you know, the African pig swan flu has killed many, many pigs. In the trial, which was, we were asked to participate in, with where 829 pigs were affected by the virus, tested and confirmed, when we entered the process to help, after two weeks, we saved 725 pigs carrying the virus. This is one of the most difficult viruses to handle. At the same time, we have participated in agricultural growth in Inner Mongolia and northern part of China, and we have increased the harvest drastically. We have now factories in China, and in that process, we are trying to change and help the Chinese nation and technology and the industry and farming. Today is the Chinese New Year, and we know that a new problem has started for China. The new flu has already claimed many lives. And we know the flu is a virus. Up to today, in the world of science, there has never been a solution for viruses. Because we never understood what the virus is. Now, with the new technology, we understand what the virus is. And as the new technology depends on plasma technology, we can reduce the effect of the virus energy. What virus does that we understand now is an energy pack which itself attaches to a cell and it takes the energy from the cell and in that case creates death of the cell and the death of the animal or a human being. With this new technology, what we do, we bring the plasma which is more or less in this shape you see at the bottom of the cup near to the cell and then the virus gives its energy to this material and lets the cell go and then we see eradication of it. We develop this technology because we are a space program and in the space we don't have microbes and bacteria, we have viruses, energy packs, which attach ourselves to themselves, and then it creates a huge problem. And it can cause a lot of death in the space. So we had to develop a technology for viruses. And now, in this time, when China is in trouble with this new virus, where humans and many have died, we introduced this not only to help you, but to help the nation, and in a way to change the course. What I'm going to show you is going to cost you one RMB to save your life. We call this the cup of life. One cup, one life. You can make it at home. Drink only the water, the clear water. Never drink the material. Wash your face with it. Wear the mask with it. And then you will see, even if you have a fever, the fever comes down. And then you see the other effects. Then, if we can eradicate all the problem, at least the doctors can help you with the rest of it. This water has been certified. Just passed the test that is not poisoning. And is already used in a hospital in Guangzhou for another application by a pharmaceutical company belongs to the Cash Foundation. This is a new space technology. And what I'm going to do, 
I'm going to show you how to make one cup, one life. It's very simple. Look around your house. See what materials you have in the house. Something you don't need anymore. Take the wire. Cut the wire off and take the middle wires out. Usually you have three wires in China. Take these out and then strip the plastic and cut it about 30 centimeter. You can cut as many as these you like. What you do, you take the copper, take a pencil and just simply twist. Twist the copper around the pen. That you get the spine. Very simple. Now you have a very small piece. You can make as many of these and put them together or connect them together. This is the first part. The second part of this is you take another one of these wires and you twist it very tight. Very, very tight. And then this is the trick of the game. This is where you become as more advanced than the scientists in Beijing universities and most of the universities around the world. We call it the nanotechnology. I'll show you how to make a very fast nanomaterial. This is a key to your life. This is what saves lives. This is what changes life. In the house, you usually have the Chinese pans. You create fire to cook. Here, I have a torch. The system, very simple. I need this. What I do, I reduce it. We need a higher high temperature. The copper has to go red. If it doesn't go red, it doesn't work. You put the copper on the fire and you wait for it to go red. As it goes red, you start moving. You start moving very, very slowly till you see it going red and then you start moving. You see it? If you look, the copper stays continuously red and then you carry on very, very slowly. Very, very slow. You keep the copper in a red color. It has to stay red. And then, you see it? You come all the way, very slowly. Very, very slow. You come to the end of it. Some of the wire might bend, it doesn't matter. But, we go to the end. Make sure everything has to be black. You can't have any metal. Just watch. You see it? It goes red. The other part is better than left. You go red. Let it cool for a few seconds. And then, when it cools down, you do exactly as what you did before. You take it, still hot, and what you do, you place it back again, the same as on the pen, and you twist it around the pen. You'll find out you find some pieces already opened up, it doesn't matter. This is good. And then you follow it till it's totally, totally finished. And then you push it back and bring all the wires together that they stick. There is nothing staying out. Now you have another spring. Look. Okay. Now you have one which is natural, one which is nanocoded. This is the edge of technology. Now you need something else. In all the homes, we find batteries. The batteries which they carry zinc or zinc material. If it's a metal one, it's no good. You can put a magnet on it and it sticks. You need a piece of zinc. 
or you can find a piece of zinc from the roof or from anywhere if you cannot find a battery, but it's usually in the batteries. You get it and you just fold it. Now what we do, we get a cup. That's what we call it, one cup, one life. You hang this one on one side. You hang the other one on the other side. And then I recommend you to get a hard piece of wire and turn it to this shape and hold it, put it on the top. Now you have made yourself a very simple system. You need to hang this on the middle. There we are. When you hang it like this, now you place it in the middle. As simple as that. Now we move to the final stage. As you know, we need to connect the three pieces together. You need to connect the plate to itself. This is from your battery or you have it a zinc from somewhere. Then you connect the middle part again on the leg very simply to another piece. Then what you need to do just make sure it's tight, very tight. And then you place it back in the cup. Then the third wire. What you do with the third wire is very simple. You connect it again to the bottom, to the end of this wire. Then just twist it, that it stays tight, bring it back and hang it inside. Very simple. Now you have, I show you, three wires and three pieces. What you need to do is very simple. You can do one thing. You can, to speed up, to make the material very fast, Take an old battery, very old battery, not much power in it, and connect the two outside together and get a tape, a simple tape. And connect this to the top of the battery. That's all you need to do. Just make sure you have the tape and you have this and you connect it directly to the top. Make sure it's tight. You get another piece of tape and you connect the bottom to the center. Of the battery. So now we have a system. You have the two wires, you have to make sure none of these touches. But this process, a cup of life of man, one cup, one life, needs water. This water, you take a tap water and you add salt to it, cooking salt. You add about 15% for one liter. 150 gram is good and you stir it till it's fully done then now you start saving your life just fill it up you don't need to do anything else just fill it up to the top
leave it you will start seeing bubbles make sure everything is inside and if you look already bubbles will start coming up what are you going to get a water like this you see whitish greenish material goes to the bottom and you get a very clear water you never drink or touch the green part you just let everything to settle when it's clean and clear you drink about 100 ml 200 milliliter of it and then you wash your face and you wash your hands with it and then most of you at the moment to the fear of what is going to happen you are wearing these masks which you put in front of your face or a tea towel or any towel or a piece of cloth you wet it with the same water and you hold it and you put it in front of your mouth you breathe as much as possible every day you just wet the mask and then you have to make sure that when you make the fresh water the fresh water will be salty try to wash the salt off you wash it you let it settle you put more water in it you let it settle and in that process you go as much as you like when you emptied when you took this material out of the bottom you can put more salt water and keep it going it keeps on producing you can give another cup to another friend you can save another life to your neighbors and keep on producing and teach them what to do and then what you do you keep on filling it up you drink from it you let it settle you keep on drinking washing your cloth washing your nose washing your face your head and keeping the mask continuously wet in front of your mouth so what you can do on the other hand is as you're walking around the town just carry it put the water in a spray and just spray it on the cloth your on your mask that's all it does you see anybody says I have a temperature give it to them that's all it does it takes save a life with just one spray this is a space technology it looks very simple because we made it simple you've got to understand this technology is very advanced on the other hand where very soon you will see these machines where we'll do the same in more effective way made in China will be exported around the world. I brought this technology one cup, one life because every life has to be respected and I love to be part of the Chinese community to see that the new year becomes a pleasurable year. This is my gift, the gift from Cash Foundation to the Chinese nation. Use it, understand what you're doing and give a cup to another man. Teach the man how to make it. Once you learn this one, if another five years, another ten years, there is another virus, that's all you need to do. Just make a very simple system. One cup, one life, less than one RMB. It's worth testing. And then teach it freely. We have opened a website that in this program you see at the bottom. You have a problem. Get in touch with Cash Plasma China at 163.com. You can be helped there. And then we can teach you how to do it and teach the others. It doesn't take long. If you leave it for about half a day or so, you will start seeing the material appears. And that's all you need to do. Thank you very much. A happy new year. I hope you enjoyed the gift of life, which I've given you as one cup, one life. Thank you.